Hello YouTubers, MrMan105 here, and um, I'm going to be doing a video on the basics of an air engine, or um, you know, these an air engine built off of a four-stroke flathead. Um, so, I'm doing this by request of one of my subscribers. They uh, had a problem with starting it, I guess it was a, t a timing problem, something like that. Um, but I'm going to go through everything, and uh, hopefully this helps them. Sorry about my cat. Uh, she gets in the way sometimes. So, um, first of all, the first way I'm going to be showing how to do this, because there's two ways to do this. Um, this way isn't as efficient, um, uses more air, but you can get the engine to run like this. So... This way, we'll be injecting the air straight into the spark plug and having the exhaust be the original exhaust and just having one lobe on the cam. I'll show how I modified the cam later, but um, first of all, I'm going to be showing the timing. So, your piston's going to constantly be under pressure of the steam or air, whatever you're putting into here. Um, constantly be pushing it down, but the exhaust is going to give some room for the piston to come up. So, basically, the air is pushing it down right now because there's no outlet from the cylinder. And as it starts to come back up, the exhaust valve right here is going to start to open. It just opens a little bit as the piston comes up, and then it closes. And that's the whole stroke. It just does that again and again. The air is pushing it down because there's no exit. And then the valve opens as the piston's coming up and exhausts the air. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want a more efficient engine and, um, you know, maybe a better running one that doesn't use as much steam or air, whatever you're using. You probably want to do double lobes on both the cams of the camshaft. And I'm going to take out the camshaft in a minute and show you how I've modified it to make it work like this. Okay, so here it is. Um, there's double lobes on this cam right here. So there's a lobe on that side and that side over there. And there's double lobes on this cam. Now, for this engine, the exhaust right here is going to be used as the intake, and the old intake port is going to be used as the exhaust. So it's reversed, but you can still make it run forward um, if you wanted, but usually these, um, this style runs backwards. So uh, there's that. Um, so this is pretty simple. Just make double ups on both. This lobe... Um, these two lobes are a little smaller because I uh, made the engine a little bit more efficient by uh, letting the valve open a little less longer and now uh, you can see both each cam is lobed now right here I left this cam alone um, this was for the first version that I showed uh, this cam is not going to be used at all, pretty much. It's just this one as the exhaust because the uh, intake is just coming in the spark plug hole. So uh, there's that. And um, this is the same camshaft as I had in the uh, last little clip that you just saw. But uh, the other cam broke off. So it was kind of a good opportunity for this right now. But now I can't really show you the engine timing exactly as um, this version calls for, which is intake and exhaust, so it uses both the valves. Um, but you can double load both of the cams, and if you retime it, now I can't show you on this one, because I had to time this myself, this is one of the 1977 Briggs & Stratton models that has uh, the press-fitted ball bearing right here so I can't really see the 
timing marks and I really don't know how to do that but you know I've gotten away with timing it myself but on other engines if you can see right there that little marking it usually lines up with a marking on this gear right here so if you do that you should be good with the engine and you just put a um, air fitting right here you know a valve or something and put a flywheel on of course this one doesn't have one and the engines gonna run backwards but it will run so you just need to time it correctly have the lobes on correctly so one in the front which is already there and then put one in the back and it should run fine so uh, there you go there's my video it took a couple of takes but I hope it helped my subscribers and um, thanks for watching.